Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Galactic Sea Bass Channel. My name is Sebastian, and we are currently here at Black Rock City, day four for Burning Man. I would like to send a huge thank you to Mark Day for the headlamp which you gave me yesterday, passing on the torch, quote unquote, as you put it. Um, it's Mark, I lost it on the first ride. So uh, thank you so much for the gift. It is unfortunately with somebody else though, so the torch has been passed on yet again. A lot of cool things that may happen today. Uh, to get those done, we have to go out and enjoy what the world has to offer though. So maybe we should uh, do that. I started off by going to Costco, which is apparently a soulmate connection Binding maker. So uh, let's check that out. Made it to Casco. I am a little early though, as not even the employees have showed up, and I will be here for a while. Eventually. Training is complete, and now on to the interviews. Hello, buddy. What's your name? What? I'm Mouse. Mouse, where are we? We are at Costco Soulmate Trading Outlet. Brand name sales and discount prices. Why Costco? We chose Costco because we felt that it was something that would put people at ease. Everybody knows Costco and nobody's threatened by it. And being threatening is the opposite of what we want. What are people hoping to accomplish here when they come? We are a best friend finding service. We're the oldest thing on the playa. This is our 20th anniversary. And we try really hard to help people locate and connect with someone that they wouldn't otherwise have met. Beautiful. How has this experience working for Costco affected you personally? So, I am, left to my own devices, profoundly introverted and socially awkward. And we actually have a subtext for our, for our camp. We call ourselves uh, Introvert Reeducation Camp. What we do is, is we help ourselves to learn how to reach out and connect with people in ways that just don't come naturally to us. And I am now able to sit up and pretty confidently talk in front of groups of people in ways that I never was before. That's wonderful. How does it feel knowing that you might be out there helping people find their soulmates? That's the whole point. That's everything that we hope for. That's everything that we hope for. We try really hard to make that go. Is it true that people have used your services and then gotten married? Absolutely. We actually had someone get remarried. They, we matched uh, a woman with her ex-husband. Neither of them knew that they were on the playa. Both of them had been thinking about getting back together, and now they are back together and have babies. Uh, we, it's not our point. Like, we're not about romantic connection, we're about deep emotional connection. But if that leads to romance, we're certainly not against it. Well, you are one romantic fellow, if I might say so. May I take your photograph, my friend? I insist that you do. Three, two, one, jeez. Are you ready to find your soulmate? Yeah, I am. First time. So the guys here at Bike Course Camp are going to be having this bike competition tomorrow, and it should be a lot of fun. Probably shouldn't be doing stuff like this one-handed with a camera, but you know what? I love bikes. I love riding them. Competition tomorrow, let's do it. And uh, there's 24 hours till tomorrow, so might as well just live today. Hello, what is your name? Marley. Hey Marley, how do you like Burning Man? Awesome. Yeah, what's your favorite part? Um, the art cars. The art cars? What's your favorite art car? Uh, the, the airplane, the jet one. The airplane jet? Pretty cool. Like, I mean, like the jet, like, it's a jet art car. Uh huh. What, what had all the pieces to a, to a real life jet, but, but then it broke the jet and then they put it all together. That's amazing. Uh, may I take your photograph? Yeah. Three, two, one, cheese. I'm about to go ride some bikes with this little rascal. What's up, Jake? How's your day? Amazing. How's your burn? Stellar. How's your boy? How are you, Marley? <laughs> My burn is amazing. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Hey, Marley, what'd you think of the bike ride? Awesome. You rock. Let's just see how tiny it is. Where's a black rock? Shh, dude, it's so tiny I can't see it. Is that it right there? There's a black rock, Marley. Oh, uh, um, this, that's the one that I did. I know, I just wanted to show the people of the world how cool you, you were. Make something out of it. You need to find look, a bunch look, of black rocks. Look how tiny that black rock is. Wow. I'll tell you what to do, Marley. If you collect black rocks this trip, and then if we come back next year, let me rephrase that. When we come back next year, we can make something and you can give them as gifts to people. How does that sound? Awesome. 
Okay. You're so cool. I don't care about that small one. It's really hot, it's really dusty, and uh, I think Kayla and I are off to Dr. Bronner's. The line for Dr. Bronner's right now is not a joke. We are still going to wait. Hello, what is your name? Hi, I'm Emily. And what are you doing here today, Emily? I am volunteering with the Foam no. Against the Machine camp. What is Foam Against the Machine? Foam Against the Machine is a foam performance. Uh, today we are repairing robots, a robot reboot, and bringing back the love and the humanity to this culture and great people here and community at Burning Man. Awesome. How has your burn experience been so far? It's been amazing and so beautiful. Today I saw the sunrise and started the day, got some sleep, staying hydrated and just enjoying this great community of people and all the love and all the happiness here. Sounds just like it. Can you take your photograph? Sure. Three, two, one, cheese? Here we come, see you guys later. Hey guys, Foam Against the Machine was sick. I ended up running into Presley and Soul, and that was a really nice change of pace. So now I'm going to meet them here at the spin art thing with our boy John and hopefully make some really cool art. Um, it should be a lot of fun. We're marching a conclave. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Very nice. Sick. I love it. Wow. Well, it doesn't come out. What was it? I don't know yet. Before. After. Thanks for holding us all. Love your hot shot. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hello, sir. Uh, er, I have a. Would you mind an interview? I've never interviewed a robot. How's your uh, burn experience been so far? I'm hot shot. The robot. <laughs> uh, what? You all right? Yeah. How's your okay. day? You. Uh, I'm worried. <laughs> I don't want you to feel, you know, like nobody's got you. I don't know how to conduct this interview. You're not alone. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking a photo of that. Bye, Hotshot. Bye bye. Cool. 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 Entire pirate ship, dude. So, we're gonna have the bringers of light coming out of the dust storm, and then we're gonna have like the community members supporting them with the paint, and we're about to paint it smart. Cool, sweet. So let's do it. Always good to see you, Zandy. Yeah, galactic. See that? <laughs> That's me. Here, Sebastian. I love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yay. That was sick. Having a lot of fun out here on day four. This is like kind of dangerous, but who cares? What's life without a little? Oh, what's life without a little danger? All right, guys, we're getting naked. I can't show you the rest. Sorry. I'll see you. Hey, guys. So we're not done with the nude photo shoot yet. The sunset is killer though right now, and everybody's just having a fun time, being beautiful and naked. I'm butt naked. I have been naked in two places on the fly today, having the time of my life. Of my John, life. You of my fun. life. So the reason that we did this is because we've been doing body painting together for about a year and a half yes. and this was just kind of like the ultimate like bringing everything together that we're all about and we're all about just like embracing our bodies and embracing you know just like our community and like how awesome like all of our friends are and what they do which is just like dance and just lift each other up really being so incredible bringing the light into everyone else's lives and you know? this piece was really about community and it was really about supporting each other and also about being vulnerable yeah and that was kind of why i really like people were like do we have to be fully naked and i was like yes, yes. because 
Uh, being fully naked was representing the vulnerability of this, and um, everybody did it. And you know, people were saying like it just made them feel like normal. Like you don't feel anything. You feel so good. You feel so real when everybody is naked and nobody is worried about it. And everybody just feels good. Feels the love. Feels the love. So much love. Did you guys rock? I'm happy to have been there since the beginning. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. It's all because of you, really. Since day one. Since day one. <laughs> yeah. Can I take a picture of you guys? Yeah. Three, two, one, cheese. All right, well, I'm dressed again. That was a lot of fun. You know, really being vulnerable with yourself is a, a soul-opening experience. To be able to be comfortable in your own body enough to express it to the world exactly as you are without, you know, trying to hide it behind anything else is really a special thing um, that I'm learning more about every day. Um, anyway, it's getting kind of dark out. It's getting cold, and I'm wearing a shawl and some booty shorts, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're ready for the evening. Guys, would you like to go on the turtle with me? <laughs> we have found the turtle. Let us embark. All right, well, we have found Timothy the turtle. We're cruising, cruising down 2.30 here on uh, Thursday night at Birdman, day four. So cool. How was your burn experience? So amazing. It's, our, our camp's amazing. We have so much love, passion. Like, it's pretty cool. Right? It is pretty cool. It would appear that we're past the halfway point of the week as uh, some of these structures are already on fire. Timothy the Turtle. <laughs> Sick. Check those dudes out.
feel to know that you just rode that better than anybody's probably going to ride it all week? It's natural. It's very natural to me. <laughs> Hello, what are your names? What inspired this piece? Actually, a trip to Spain. Barcelona, and we uh, saw Gaudi and Ana Familia, and Kevin's like, I oh, gotta film a salad like that. And I want the community to be involved, and we decided to drape it in flowers. And so all the flowers on the tower were made by volunteers. It's an incredible piece. Last year I was here with my friends and had an incredible experience. How does it feel to see so many people come and go from your bar every night, leaving with a smile, and knowing that your piece had a valuable impact on their burn experience? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, I just love the feedback. And, uh... I wasn't aware of that, that's amazing. Yeah, so many. And then just last night, somebody engaged to, uh, a guy engaged to his uh, yeah, engaged girlfriend. Last night. Yeah, under the tower. Because of the fire, actually. They're fire dancers, and they were like, I gotta propose under a fiery object. <laughs> that's incredible. So, I suppose your bird experience has been a positive one so far? Yeah, it's been great. Always. Yeah, yeah. People love fire, and so the response has been amazing. Yeah. All right. May I take your photograph? Yes. Yeah. Three, two, one, cheese. So we meet again, crazy wall. It is currently 12.30 a.m. We are still on the art bar. It is so early. And I was supposed to go to Carl Cox to meet up with Kayla and Maddie. However, that didn't happen, so I'm sorry, girls. I am currently in Urban Jellyfish. <laughs> what are you doing on Thursday night? Probably not on our car, that's for sure. How's your bird been, dude? Dude, it's the best bird ever. Your bird. Especially you. <laughs> Would you look at that? We found the 747.